Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets. Today, joined by Peter, yeah. Yells, and today we're looking at more French beer and the last beer that I got in my latest beer mail from Gerard in France. So thanks so much for the beer, Gerard. Uh, was fun to try some French craft beer. I can't remember if you had any of them. I don't think. I don't so, think. But I, I have. think you had some last year at the camping trip in Hamapaka, where I brought some for the vlog. But you don't remember, probably. No, I what don't, I don't I think I did, because I came a little oh, yeah. later. Yeah, that's right. I yeah. probably drank them already. But this is the last one. Save this one for last, because it sounds the most mm -hmm. interesting. And it's this the is... the most erotic beer. And the most erotic. Maybe we'll get copyright strikes or some shit, or not copyright, just strike from YouTube, because there's actually a, a woman's boob. Yeah, just the censor it straight away. I'll, I'll censor the boob. <laughs> <laughs> censor the boob. No, free the nipple. <laughs> <laughs> but this is from uh, Brasserie... Uh, let's see, uh, if, how you say this? Brasserie La Débauché? Doesn't that sound about mm -hmm. right? Oui. Yeah, La Débauché, and this is their Amorina Griots. Griots. I suck at French. Griots. <laughs> but this is an, he says, an imperial stout brewed with almonds, lactose, and Amorina cherries, and barrel aged on sour cherries. Mm. Uh, it was released a year ago in the spring of 2016. He doesn't know what barrels they used in this, and they don't say if the sour cherries used for brewing was the same type for aging the beer, but it's 14%. Whoa. So he says there's no way this one gushes, right? Because the beer, uh, it, one of the beers he sent last year was uh, Panko Palace, reference to Indiana Jones. Ah. Oh. Uh, but it, it gushed everywhere as a reviewer, and I, I put my mouth on it and start gushing out of my mouth. Uh, but yeah, this one didn't gush. <laughs> Quite ironic as well. <laughs> <laughs> like this label. But <laughs> so yeah, it says Fieli fruit. So I get fruit is barrel aged or something like that. But I guess Amorina is a type of cherry. So I, I'm thinking the Am Amarone cherry or something like that. Isn't that what they've heard? Before. Well, uh, I've heard about Amarun uh, red wine. No, Amarun, not, yeah, that's red wine. Maybe it's Amarun red wine barrels. But no, Amarina cherries, or I'm, I'm thinking of some kind of Italian cher cherry thing. Might be an area. Yeah, um, I, I'm not sure, but he said he didn't know the barrel aging because it does, didn't say on the label. But we've got the, <laughs> I have to have the name every single time I say it. Le Debauché Amorina Griots Poured. <laughs> And well, that's pitch black. I'm, I can kind of smell the cherry from here. Yeah. That's pitch black in the glass. It is. 14%, that's huge though. Mm. Uh, not much head, which is understandable for 14% mm. beer, but hey, yeah. check out the aroma. It looks kind of thin. Yeah, it doesn't look super thick for 14% beer, but when you go that high, sometimes, I mean, unless you do double mashing, they can be a bit thin because alcohol thins out a beer a bit, but it can also be because uh, if they use, it doesn't say anything about sugar. So that can also be it, but because oftentimes to get super high ABV, you use sugar. But I, I don't know. I wasn't there for the brewing this beer, but just yes, yes, check out the aroma. Boozy cherries. Yeah. This smells like you. It smells like cherry liqueur. <laughs> it smells like you dunked in imperials, a bit of imperials down into a cherry liqueur. <laughs> Holy shit! There's super boozy cherry. And then, wow, it's like burning my nostrils off, the, uh, the heat on it. Mm. But other than that, you definitely have uh, chocolate and... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it, it kind of smells like Monche, the filling of a Montgerie chocolate, because that's like oh, some yeah. kind of uh, boozy ch cherry filling. But it's, it's warming in the nostrils. I'm not getting much almond, though. A bit, maybe. It's hard to but, tell. But, but the cherry, especially... With all that alcohol. Yeah. But the sour cherry wow. really dominates on it, mm. too. Well, let's try it. Yeah. Cheers. And thanks a ton to Shahad for the beer. It was fun to try some French craft beers. Oh. <laughs> that is cherries. Mm. It's not as boozy on the flavor. It's warm and going down. It's now, quite though. boozy, but yeah, it yeah is. I mean, uh, for was it fourteen percent? Yeah, it's understandable. It's a bit thin, though. For, for I mean, mm. it is a bit thin. Yeah, it's like higher, light, lighter side of full, but it's got a slick kind of creamy mouthfeel mm. because of the lactose. Yeah, well, yeah, I think the uh, mouthfeel kind of is about the same as you. Expecting an IPA or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not as yeah. big. 
Um, but damn, the cherry for sure dominates. Uh, big sour cherry flavor, a hint of almond, and then a hint of chocolate in the aftertaste, but big booziness. Like, yeah. it's really alcoholic. Like, so it's more, um, the, 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 t the taste of cherries is more liqueur, liqueur, li liqueur, liqueur like, liqueur like, yeah, yeah. liqueur. It's almost got like a, a bit of this medicinal type flavors. You can sometimes get that from alcohol, like a medicinal uh, cough syrup or something like that. Mm. Also because there's, it's like, it's sour cherry that dominate. It, it, they, he said barrel yeah. aging, they didn't say barrel aged on what? But, I don't know. It, to me it doesn't taste barrel aged. Maybe they mean aged on cherries. I don't know. Maybe. I'm just not getting any type of barrel character. Like no. the, I feel like the drying flavor is just drying alcohol flavor. Yeah. Like when you have a shot of vodka almost. <laughs> but like you said, uh, if you um, have too much booze in your <laughs> uh, stout, it can turn out quite thin. Yeah, so yeah. that would help with the mouthfeel as well. And uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get more mouthful because there are some yeah. nice flavors underlying. There is a bit of the chocolate and toasty, mm. roasty flavors, mm. and and I don't even think you should amp up the other flavors. I just no, think no, no, it's no. enough to uh, turn it's down the It's just the booze alcohol. that's too much. Yeah, it's too boozy. Uh, that's about it. But I think it's a decent beer, though. Mm. I'm thinking like an 85, 83, yeah, between there, something like that. It's not a bad beer. It's yeah. just too boozy, and the booze is, is just a big subtractor for it mm. because there's so much of it. Yeah, I'm gonna go in. 83 with this, with this one. I'll say 84. Mm. 84. Uh, so yeah, fun stuff guys. If you are in France, because I don't think much French beer gets out of France, but if you pay a visit to France on a holiday or something, or on a vacation or whatever, check out Le, De Le Debauché and check out their Amorena Griots. The one with the tits. <laughs> the one with the tits. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But we can't even say we have to bleep out that word whenever you, we say it because the, you know the ad revenue will be pulled because oh. YouTube is you can't you you have to be PG now. Pepsi won't sponsor us. God damn it! Oh fuck! I said god damn it and fuck. Stupid. Okay. The one with the juicy breasts. Yeah, breastesses. You can, we can say that. Breastesses. Breastesses. <laughs> but we, <laughs> we'll cut this review short now and say thanks a ton to Shilad for the beer. Great fun to try some French craft beer, dude. And as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers, Pete. Cheers, Pete. And see you guys in another beer video.